Mabuhay, hi, hi, my name is Andy, and I'm back. <laughs> my name is Andy. So yeah, I know guys, it's been a while. The last time we hanged out in this channel, or the last time I posted a content in this channel, it was around maybe April or May, if I'm correct. And I know it's been a while. Things got in the way. School, part-time job, I got busy and also a bunch of stuff. So now I'm trying my best to get back on YouTube again. So before I start, I gotta address the big elephant in the room. Curls are no longer there. So this is my natural hair, pretty much wavy. Also, I've been growing a facial hair as you can see. So yeah, junior year just finished. By April, I'll be a senior in university now, my last year and I'm gonna make the best out of it. Even though that I've been away from YouTube for a while, I'm still gaining subscribers and also um, people are still asking through DMs and also from my comments on how did I end up here being a university student in Japan? What are the process? Like, hey Andy, I'm a student in Philippines too and I want to be a university student there too. What are the process? What should I do to become one? That pretty much motivated me and inspired me to do a video about it so maybe just help you guys out i'm gonna discuss how i ended up here with probably my story and also some of my friends story also i'll be talking about the requirements the basic requirements you need maybe you should start with some story time i guess on how i ended up here after graduating senior high school the legit plan was not japan to be honest the plan was de la salle university in manila um, when I graduated, I enrolled myself to De La Salle University for AB Literature, if I'm correct. It's a literature course. When I enrolled, my mom was like, hey, um, you still have two months before your class. Why don't you uh, get a vacation here in Japan and stay with me for a while? So I was like, sure, bet, I'll do it. But once I stayed here, I realized how, how fun Japan is and how potential and opportunities that I could get if I try pursue my education here. So pretty much, I took a risk and pulled myself out from De La Salle and then saved up, worked for a factory for a year and a half to save up my savings and also to hunt for a university where I could apply at. I applied for universities here in Tokyo that offers international courses such as Waseda University, Tokyo International University, Temple University, and finally, Musashino University. Fast forward a year and a half, I got my results, and the best choice that I could get for that moment was Musashino University. So, pretty much enrolled myself for Musashino University for the school year 2019. Pretty much, this is me right now. But, the process of me being a university student here in Japan is not really common for a foreigner because, number one, I have my family here. Number two, I have a residential visa. Yeah, I'm not I'm not considered as a student visa. So I asked a bunch of my friends and I think the most common uh, process that a foreigner could do is from what my friend Camille. So I'm gonna show you a clip of Camille very much telling a story on how he became a university student in Japan. All right, so this is the story of how I came to study in Japan. So, after getting my IB diploma, I decided to study abroad for my degree. So I came, so I went online and looked for some scholarships to study abroad, and I came across this posting from my current university, uh, offering me a full, fully sponsored scholarship for four years. I applied. Long story short, I got in. Uh, after so after that, the university sent me an offer letter as well as a couple of documents that I had to fill out. So it took me around three days to fill up all those documents and after that I sent it back to the university where they processed my certificate of eligibility which is something that you need to apply for a visa to come to study here in Japan. Uh, after they processed that, they sent their certificate to me and I took that certificate to my local embassy where I had to apply for my visa. I got my visa, then I just flew to Japan and they and my university helped me settle uh, when I got to the airport. So yeah, long story short, that's, that's how I came to Japan. So, now that you know both of our story, what are the usual requirements universities ask? Usually, universities have some common requirements on the things they ask for students when they're applying for their universities. These are your diploma, transcript of records, English proficiency test, passport, birth certificate, and finally, a letter of recommendation. 
So let me explain it to you guys one by one. So you have your diploma, which proves that you have completed senior high school and also at least 12 years of education before entering university. Number two would be your English proficiency test. So what is an English proficiency test? English proficiency test is pretty much just an English test that would measure your skills when it comes to reading, speaking, and also understanding the language of English. Because if you enter an international university, all of you guys will be coming from a different country. All of you guys will have the same denominator, speaking in English to understand each other. So what are the English tests you can take? Well, there are a bunch, but what universities usually ask for is number one, TOEIC, Aiken, TOEFL. Well, I personally took TOEIC and TOEFL because I believe it's the most usual ones that university ask for and also what companies here in Japan also ask for when you're applying or work hunting. Next would be birth certificate and passport. So for birth certificate, you have to prove your nationality and also your age because usually universities here in Japan requires you to be at least 18 years old before you can apply for a spot of being their student. Passport. Passport is pretty much common sense when you're moving to a different country. Passport will take you anywhere here in Japan. So you need to use it in your university, when you're looking for an apartment, and also just living life here. Because, you know, sometimes police would ask you about your visa, and usually passport could help you out about that. Transcript records. The school wants to see how well did you perform during your high school days. And finally, you're going to need a letter of recommendation from your principal or a teacher that was very important to you in high school. So what is a letter of recommendation? Well, yeah, you submit your transcript of records well on how well you were in class, but a letter of recommendation will see the reflection of your character as a student. I heavily suggest you guys not to ask it from your principal, but to ask it for your teacher that was very close to you. Why? Because your principal doesn't really see you that much, but your very close teacher sees you every day while you were in high school, while you were growing, and while you were building your character as a human being. I myself, I ask for my homeroom teacher's letter of recommendation. She pretty much saw me grow and develop my character while I was in high school. Andy, were there any obstacles and challenges that you faced when you were applying for university. Oh yeah, there were a bunch. I remember uh, I screwed up for Tokyo International University. So pretty much I applied everything, but I forgot to submit a paper that jeopardized my spot. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's why I wasn't able to make it to Tokyo International University. But fortunately, I was able to be in contact with Waseda and Musashino University. But I chose Musashino University instead because I think that it would fit me better there. So that pretty much concludes the video on pretty much the process on how to become a university student here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And to be honest, I'm trying to get back to YouTube again. And I'll try to post as consistent as I, as I could. Don't worry, even though that I've been gone for a while, I didn't stop filming stuff and filming contents. I'm gonna post maybe some in a few days or next week, a video about my trip to uh, Kusatsu. And also, yeah, some of my daily things. From April, I will become a fourth year university student, which means it's gonna be my last chance to be a university student. And I want to remember pretty much everything about it. And also, I want to share my experience with you guys. So I'm gonna make you guys as also a part of my eyes during my fourth year. So every time that I'm gonna do something special or something fun with my friends or pretty much just being a university student, I will try my best to share and show it with you guys. So once again, Mabu hi hi hi. My name is Andy. And I'll see you next time. Bye.